Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and um, this is going to be my review for Restaurant to Another World, Episode 1. If you guys want this one to win the contest and for me to continue it, then you would need to obviously watch the video, like it, and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe on this video. So hit the subscribe button on this video. And after, I don't know how long, maybe a couple days... Then I'll pick a winner. So if you guys want to want that one to win, I'm not adding comments because people can spam comments. You can't spam the like button and you can't spam the subscribe button. Well, you technically could spam the subscribe button by making multiple accounts, but I doubt anybody's gonna spend that much time. Anyway, uh, this restaurant is a regular restaurant that serves like Western food in Japan during the week. And its clientele is very, you know, very normal. But on one day a week, I assume it's Sunday. I don't know. It is closed in that world and open to a fat another world, a fantasy world, where there's like lizard men, dragons, demons. And then he serves them, and I love how his voice is small might. <laughs> Small All Might. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Anyway, the food. Why does food in anime always look so freaking good? I don't get it. Why can't we make our food look that appetizing? No wonder the characters always want to eat it. Anyway. Uh, some of the care some of the patrons end up arguing over which food goes best with rice. Their options were, I think it was teriyaki chicken, curry rice, and, uh, dang it. What was the other one? Uh, it was either beef or pork, I can't remember. But they were arguing until the one guy tried to take the other guy's chicken. He's like, oh, I'll take it. Or I'll try it and see if I can understand what you see what you mean essentially because he doesn't he hasn't eaten it and they end up arguing and the other guy takes his food while he's trying to take his food and I was like oh not good and they're about to go and duke it out with silverware and plates even the barbarian guy is holding a plate as a shield and a for and a knife as a or a fork or whatever as a as his weapon, oh my god. And then the cook guy, I don't even know if I got ever, I don't even know if we got his name. Small Might. I'm just gonna call him All Might. Comes in and tells him, if you don't shut up, I'm not gonna make you my food anymore. And that got them to shut up. Later, uh, while he's in the kitchen, a dragon queen, one of the six dragon queens, I think, dragon, noble dragons, whatever, shows up and gets some beef stew. She enjoys it. Gets a big pot of it to go. Pot's about as... It's tiny in her dragon form, but it... Probably a decent size if you're making like a big pot of chili for work or something. For everybody to have a kind of big pot. And she takes that with her. I do wonder though. What does he do with the money he gets from that world? Because he obviously can't spend it in his world. It's actual gold coins and silver coins. So he can't exactly spend it in his world. Anyway, we find out he actually is living above the restaurant. And he comes down the next day to start work. Start prepping and everything. And he finds a little girl. Not little girl, probably a teenager. Uh, at least asleep on the floor and she had eaten his soup turns out she is a demon who had been trying to live in the royal capital until um they discovered she was a demon and then she lost not only lost her job but couldn't find another job because nobody wants to employ demons apparently that's that's racist that's discrimination right there not all demons are bad okay wonder how I fixed it. My mom's phone wasn't one. Whenever my, I would try and call her on the phone, the phone was not ringing. It was just like stuck in vibrate mode or something. I tried everything I could think of to fix it and I don't know. 
Anyway. Uh, she had wandered into his shop because the ruin she was sleeping in had an entrance to his restaurant there. How the entrances pop up, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later if, we, if it gets picked. Anyway, she wandered in there and ended up eating the entire pot of soup because it tasted so amazing. So, he ends up asking her, do you want to work, of me, work for me on the days that I'm working, on the day that I'm working here? And you'll get paid, I think it was, what was it, two silver coins? For, either for the whole day or per hour, I can't remember. And she, ha she ha uh, eagerly agrees, essentially, because that's obviously giving her money and giving her good food and every day. Or not every day, uh, for one day, but still, that's a lot money, a lot of money. And he doesn't seem to care that she is a demon. And I'm assuming some of the patrons aren't going to take too kindly to that, but it's either that or they either they tolerate it or they miss out on the food, because I'm sure he'd ban them. Anyway, while well, this is going on, the Miss Little Miss Dragon Queen is watching this whole thing and... Claiming essentially that she's part of his her treasure now because apparently the rest did she discovered that restaurant, and made him she made he made her the food and now she calls him master. Anyway, she's under his prote under her protection anyway, so nobody's really gonna unless somebody's stupid, they're not gonna mess with someone who's protected by a dragon. Unless I've got a death wish, or they're just stupid. Anyway, this was a cute show. I could be invested in this show, at the very least, just for the freaking food alone. Seriously, how do they make the food look so appetizing in shows, in shows like that? I don't get it. You can never make a food look that amazing in real life. I guess maybe the color, maybe the way the colors pop, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, if you guys want this one to win, like and subscribe and obviously, oh, and share the video. Sorry, share the video as well if you can. I wouldn't be able to count that, so I guess I can't. Anyway, I'll get on to the next one.